Hey there, gaming buddies. It's your friend Pooh Smudge here, ready to tackle the Titan that is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Hold on to your controllers, because this is going to be one heck of a bumpy ride. Now, let's set the stage. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's like the Avengers of the video game world cramming more characters into one title than a clown car at a circus. You've got everyone from Mario to Pikachu to... Even Piranha Plant? Yep, a literal potted plant that's a character. Who's next? An angry Goomba? The little cloud guy that follows you around with a camera? But let's get real. While playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate can feel like being handed the keys to the gaming kingdom, it's like they're to a kingdom filled with rabid, hyperactive squirrels. Seriously, have you ever tried to keep track of what's going on in an eight-player Smash? It's like watching a squirrel rave in Fast Forward. Okay, now, now, I know what you're thinking. Poos, but poos much. The game has over 70 characters to choose from. True, but let's face it, everyone just picks Kirby because we all secretly enjoy the thrill of devouring our enemies whole and stealing their powers. It's like a buffet if the buffet was all-you-can-eat opponents. All right, so don't get me wrong. I appreciate a good beat-em-up game. I mean, who doesn't enjoy the simple pleasure of launching your friends off into the stratosphere with a well-timed punch or a kick? But the game mechanics feel as balanced as a tightrope walker trying to carry a barbell. And the single player mode, World of Light? It's more it's more like the World of Right, as in right back to the menu because I'd rather take a digital nap than drag myself through the slow grind of a campaign. The excitement level is akin to watching paint dry if the paint was also trying to punch you in the face. Next up, let's talk stages. Oh, the stages. There are over a hundred of these things, and some of them are about as easy to navigate as a corn maze at night with sunglasses on. Have you ever tried battling it out on the Great Cave Offensive? It's more like the Great Eye Strain Offensive. I mean, am I right? It's like trying to spot a needle in a haystack. If the needle was your character and the haystack was a stage bigger than my ambitions of winning at this game. And don't get me started on the stages that attack you. I'm looking right at you, Willy Castle. Here you are, throwing punches and avoiding being punched, and then, surprise, the stage that tries to throw its own knockout blow because apparently fighting seven other characters wasn't hard enough already. Next, let's talk about those spirits. And no, I'm not talking about the kind you pour into a glass to drink on a Friday night. These are the power-up companions you can equip to your fighter in World of Light. Sounds cool, right? Well, it would be, except there are over a thousand of these things. I've seen fewer options on a Cheesecake Factory menu. Okay, some of these make your fighter stronger, others give them special abilities, but good luck figuring out which one does what without a PhD in Smashology. And folks, let's have a chat about the controls. Simple enough, right? Wrong. Just like trying to untangle a set of earbuds, the controls in this game can leave you in a knot. Is it just me, or does it feel like the difference between a smash attack and a tilt attack feel like you're trying to do brain surgery with a sledgehammer? Now, let's not forget about the final smashes either. Yes, the final smash is the ultimate I win button. Every character's final smash is like a Michael Bay movie crammed into 10 seconds, full of explosions and spectacle, but leaving you wondering what just happened. And finally, we come to online play. Oh, the dreaded online play. Ever been to Wild West Showdown? That's online play in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, only instead of firearms, it's lag. It's just all lag. The player with the best interconnection Internet connection is the new sheriff in town. They are going to win every single battle. So there you have it, my fellow smudgies. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, where chaos reigns supreme and the only winner is confusion. If you're someone who enjoys deciphering complex codes, fighting off stage hazards, and squinting at your screen to figure out where your character is the entire match, this is going to be the game for you. But for those of us who like our gaming, like we like our coffee, straightforward, smooth, and without unexpected piranha plants, well, maybe this one will give you a pass. Because in the end, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is less ultimate and more ultimate headache. All in all, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the gaming equivalent of a cheese pizza with every topping. It's crowded, it's messy, and while some people might love the chaos, for others it's just a stomachache waiting to happen. Churning in your stomach. It's got charm and a lot of passionate fans, I'll give you that. But folks, I hate to break it to you, but the crowning jewel of the, no of the Nintendo Switch? Overrated. It is not. So there you have it, my take on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you need me, I'll be over here playing a nice calm game of Pong. 
Now there's a classic that knew how to keep things simple, all right? Remember, keep your consoles cool and your hot takes even cooler. Game on, friends, and see you later, smudgies.